Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I would like to talk about Chapter 7, Facilitating Project Team Move with Purpose. Let me begin by giving an overview of the techniques used to manage a business re-engineering project effectively. The first technique is the focus group interview. Second is the facilitated meeting and the third technique is the facilitated workshop. By using these techniques, it has dramatically improved the quality of processes, products or services and reduced time required to deliver those products or services. In order to conduct these techniques, it is the responsibility of the re-engineered project facilitator. To facilitate means to make group decision making easier by eliminating barriers to agreement. As facilitation allows everyone to participate in decision making, in problem solving, it will create consensus. Okay, so here, the facilitator needs to unite the group. They need to focus the discussion. They need to mobilize the group to resolution and action. Other than that, the facilitator need to model the behavior so that the team will need to lead the organization. Furthermore, the facilitator must also have the technical skills, the knowledge for re-engineering, the political skills to sell ideas and inspire others to gain commitment from the entire organization. Turning to secrets to successful re-engineering. Use these eight guidelines for a successful re-engineering project. First, starting a team. Second, facilitating like Attila the Hun. Third, making it real by writing it down. Fourth, focus, focus, focus. Fifth, putting process above personalities. Six, the committed fanatic. Seven, practicing what you are preaching. And finally, managing team bias. I would like to start by looking at the first guideline or rule for a successful re-engineering project, which is starting a team. It is a fundamental step towards fostering teams that work well together. The facilitator must find, must create, conduct and lead discussions after these exercises so that team members can apply what they learn to the work. Take the time, provide sufficient opportunities for people to learn how to work as a team, demonstrate role, clarity, leadership, share information and ask questions. The second guideline is facilitating like Attila the Han. Who is Attila the Han? He was the ruler of the Hans, the leader of the Hunnic Empire. He was known to Romans for his brutality and bully of men and nations. However, he is a compassionate and wise leader, particularly in how he handled subordinates. Han only make enemies on purpose. Therefore, leader or facilitator should be skillful enough in bringing people to consensus in enforcing critical success factors in winning respect they need to know on how to gain credibility enforce rules of operation in an uncompromising but pleasant manner and express determination in order to success, facilitator must have the aura. They must have the charisma to evoke actions. Next guideline is making it real by writing it down. The project team must accurately document and communicate outcomes, consensus, document and distribute production, 
establish distribution dates and many more and this is to avoid misinterpretation and failures if the outcomes are not documented and communicated the fourth guideline is to focus focus and focus the re-engineering project facilitator must keep the project team working within the approved project scope and keep them discuss on the topic ensure members remain committed and accountable or else they will wander from topic to topic idea to idea implication to implication the project may face failure if these keep going another secret to successful re-engineering is putting process above personalities the facilitator need to help people value each other's strength work effectively as a team exchange positive and constructive feedback express needs and concerns and no blaming or excuse making team conflict can be avoided as we have different personalities so we need to value each other opinions the sixth guideline is the committed fanatic in the organization middle management commitment to change is the most easiest and they are the most resist to change too this is due to unclear roles perceived loss of power prestige or control here comes the roles of fanatically committed project director and team to tackle these middle issues successfully furthermore to successful you need to practice what you are preaching behave as you would have others behave you must demonstrate how empowerment works how to work in open teams rather than in small groups involve staff in decision making problem solving so they feel valued and part of team finally the eighth guideline for a successful re-engineering project is managing team bias biases shoot down ideas and stop people from listening Therefore, you need to manage your biases to better manage your team. The re-engineering project facilitator must help people recognize and control their biases. To sum up, there are three basic techniques to manage a business re-engineering project effectively. That are the focus group interview, the facilitated meeting, and the facilitated workshop and there are so many responsibilities of the facilitator of a re-engineered project and finally we have the secrets to successful re-engineering with eight guidelines first is starting a team second facilitating like Attila the Han third making it real by writing it down fourth focus 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 fifth putting process above personalities six the committed fanatic seven practicing what you are preaching and finally eight managing team bias